Newton Corporation is an international food safety company that provides test kits and relevant products to detect dangerous substances in food. The company was founded in 1982 and is based in Lansing, Michigan. As of 2016, the company has a market capitalization of $1.83 billion with an enterprise value of $1.57 billion. The company operates a product line of over 100 drug detection test kits worldwide for the detection of about 300 abused and therapeutic drugs and animal treatments. From a starting point around $1 in 1990, the price has climbed to $17 as of January 19, 2024. This represents a gain over 1600%. There was a sharp increase in the late 1990s, followed by a correction in the early 2000s. Most recently, the stock has been on a steady upward climb since 2012. Let me talk about the income statement now. Total revenue was $822.4 million, an increase of 56% from $527.2 million in the previous year. Strong growth was driven by several factors, including the acquisition of 3M's food safety business, which contributed $190 million in revenue. Net income was $22.9 million, down from $48.3 million in the previous year. The decline in net income was due to the lower operating income and higher non-operating expenses, which included $59.6 million in acquisition-related costs. Basic earnings per share was minus $0.12 compared to $0.45 in the previous year. The decline in EPS was due to the lower net income and the increase in the number of outstanding shares. Here's the balance sheet. Total assets were $4.55 billion, an increase of 466% from $992.9 million in the previous year. This significant increase was primarily due to acquisition of 3M's food safety business, which contributed $3.6 billion in assets. Total liabilities were $1.42 billion, an increase of 330% from $105.5 million in the previous year. The increase in the liabilities was driven by the issuance of debt to finance the 3M acquisition. I'm gonna fill you in with the key financial ratios now. A ratio above 2 is generally considered healthy and Newton significantly exceeds that benchmark. Their debt-to-equity ratio is similar to the long-term debt-capital ratio. This confirms Newton has a moderate debt level compared to its equity. This further indicates their ability to manage their debt burden effectively. Newton's return on equity is negative, indicating a net loss for shareholders in 2023. This could be due to various factors, including integration costs from the 3M acquisition or temporary setbacks. To conclude, Neogen is a risky investment. Positive indicators are strong market position. Neogen holds leading positions in niche markets like food safety and animal genomics, providing potential for long-term growth. They have solid financial ratios. Despite negative profitability in 2023, Ratios like current ratio and debt to equity such as strong short-term liquidity and manageable debt levels. The risk factors are negative profitability. The 2023 net loss and negative return of equity raise concerns about the company's current financial performance and ability to consistently generate profits. The debt burden. While manageable now, the increased debt due to the acquisition can become problematic if profitability doesn't improve or unexpected economic setbacks occur. If you would like us to research a stock, Please tweet at Collective Rec or leave a comment here. Like and subscribe for potential investment ideas. Become a member at www.collective-research.com. Receive investment ideas before they are published. Collective Research. Active fundamental research in global capital markets. Make informed decisions.